Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review uh, the new four-part documentary series on Netflix called Evil Genius. And this revolves around the strangest bank heist crime in my local area, the Pizza Bomber case. that happened back in 2003 in Erie, PA, on Peach Street. I mean, because I've, we've gone past, I've never been to Eyeglass World. I was in the parking lot of Eyeglass World where that all went down. The PNC Bank, I've never been to the PNC, but like the, they mentioned the parking lot of Eden Park. I've been there. I was just there not that long ago. Uh, and this revolves around a very bizarre case. Um, and most of the story revolves on Marjorie Deal Armstrong. But also, you know, Brian Wells, where they put the collar bomb on him and told him to go. Uh, he went to eat a pizza delivery guy, and the guys called up. And uh, he went to this remote location, and then, you know, you know, waiting to get paid for the pizza. And then they, they put a collar bomb on him, and they told him to rob this bank. And there's so many twists and turns on this. And this was unsolved for a while, and then eventually... A year or so, things started to unravel, but talks about the invest, the whole, the crime itself, the investigation, and it fills in a lot of the uh, the things that we didn't know about just watching the news, uh, as far as like uh, phone conversations, nine one one calls, uh, videotape testimony. Um, I know my dad, you know, would have loved this because it fills in all the blanks. And it's a four part series. Each one of the episodes like either like 45 minutes to 58 minutes long because they have different running times because it's on, ne on Netflix. And uh, it actually has a, it has a, um, a couple surprises at the very end that we didn't, no one knew about. I mean, it was actually, they said one, but there was actually two as far as I'm concerned during the last 20 minutes. And it's fascinating. It's fascinating. I mean... Most of it, I mean, it revolves around all the, it's the bizarre characters involved. Marjorie Deal Armstrong, I knew, I talked to someone who actually met her and said she's very out there. You know, it's, it's a fascinating movie. It really is. I, I highly recommend it. And it was weird because they talked about it on the news. They're coming at debate, debuted Friday, this Friday, or a couple of days ago on uh, uh, the 11th. And uh, they talked about it on the news. And every time, I mean, this was so was so talked about in Erie. And, and every time something, anything came up about the movie, it was always mentioned. And including there was a movie that, uh, what was it, was it 30 Minutes or Less? There was a, they made a comedy about it called 30 Minutes or Less, I think. I think that was the name of the movie. I never saw the movie. In the 30 minutes or less, oh, it's on Crackle. Uh, it was made in 2011, and I, I think the family Brian Wells didn't want shown in Tinseltown. And they did a big story about that. I don't think it, it did that well. And uh, they had other things like American Most Wanted uh, was in Erie a long time ago. Uh, and they had like reenactors do some scenes. And I remember watching that Saturday night, and they had. Uh, Geraldo Rivera on Fox News did a story about that. I mean, it's it's really captivated it captivated most of the country. Uh, a very bizarre case. And they filmed a lot, but it's very fascinating. I loved it. My sister was watching it. She might have finished watching it before I did, because I was getting to it to like half, half hour to last episode, and all of a sudden it said uh, reconnecting or reloading or something like that. It said that connectivity on your Roku device has stopped or something like that. Oh, no, I want to see the rest of the show. It was like five minutes later. I don't know if something happened. I got it back, but it was weird. There was nothing wrong with the internet, though. It's just that, I don't know, that was bizarre. Um, it's a great show. I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, there's so many bizarre things. It, it's a very strange case. And then uh, one thing that shocked me, I, I watched some of the trailer for it. When people left in the comments, you know, they said... Well, it's fitting the, the town's eerie, and this is an eerie case or something like that. I mean, eerie spelled E-E-R-I-E. -E -E. But someone said that they lived in western Pennsylvania all their life, and occasionally would go to Erie from time to time, and they never heard of the case. I, I'm a little shocked about that because that was all over the place. Um, it's truly riveting TV. If you get a chance to see it, I definitely recommend it. 
It's a full-on 10 out of 10 for me. Go check out Evil Genius, uh, the four-part documentary, like true crime documentary. Very bizarre case. And like I said, it fills in a lot of blanks, a lot of stuff that we weren't privy to on the news. Because then, you know, and then I guess Marjorie Deal Armstrong was on uh, trial back in the 80s. I remember that too. You know, because I thought the name sounded familiar because she was on trial in the 80s for uh, murder of one of her boyfriends. And a lot of the guys she was out with ended up dying. You know, it was very bizarre. Um, but I hope you like this review. It's full on 10 out of 10. Go check out Evil Genius on Netflix. And as always, everybody, please take care of my legion. I asked John if he saw it, too. I bet you John watched it. Like I said, my sister, I mean, because my sister accidentally called me on, uh, she set her phone down. I actually went to video dial or something like that. And I talked for a minute or two on Mother's Day. And she said that she's going to go watch the last episode. But I was close. I watched like half of it and then I I went to bed or I had to do something else. You know, I had a busy weekend. But I hope you liked this review, everybody. And as always, please take care. I mentioned on the live stream too.